Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm so glad that you responded to the DM because we, I mean, after the last episode, everybody's like Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. So yeah, it's been cool. Awesome. So you're in New York right now? Yes. Do you like New York? Yeah, I go to school here. Is it, have you, where did you grow up? I grew up in Greensboro, North Carolina. Okay. So that's different than New York city. So yeah. it's a culture shock. How long, what year are you in school? I'm a senior. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you've been there like all four mm -hmm. years, right? In New York. Okay. So you're adjusted to the New York culture. Like, you know how it goes. Well, that's so exciting. So we're going to talk to you about all things euphoria because we have a bunch of questions. We posted a TikTok about you and everyone was like, oh my gosh, ask her all these questions. So we have a couple questions. And at the end, we're going to play a game okay. and then we'll grab Dana. Dana's in the, she works for Young Hollywood. She's great. She's going to play the game with you because she loves euphoria and likes you and everything. Okay. Okay, perfect. So how did you first, what was the casting process like for Euphoria? So I did an open call about two years ago and that was right before COVID started. So I sent in a self tape and I honestly didn't think I would get a call back because it's an open call. Right. I mean, this one, but then the casting agency hit me up and they're like, come in. So I came in and it went pretty well. And then COVID happened. Yep. Then in April, I got a call again from the casting agency. And they were like, Sam saw your video and he liked you. And he thought you were cute and funny. So. Oh my gosh. And did you, when you joined Euphoria, did you think that it would be as huge and like, you know, it's the entire internet right now. So did you have any idea what you were getting yourself into? No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. Oh my gosh. And so how, when you were on set, like what was the behind the scenes like for you? Like, did you have a, like a certain best friend from the cast or what was it like behind the scenes? It was just interesting to get to see professional actors in the middle of working um and i i loved especially the crew yeah. because they were just so nice and so sweet and everyone was so sweet i was really quiet because i was so scared <laughs> i bet i mean you have zendaya on your left sydney sweeney on your right like all the angus cloud was there like you know i would be like oh, what the heck is going on it was so nice it was, it would, did any of the cast members, so we had Chloe Cherry, we interviewed her. I know I had emailed, when we emailed you, we had mentioned that we had her on before. Did, was there anybody that you got advice from like on set? Cause she got advice from Zendaya, she had said, that was really nice. I didn't really get advice, but I did see a lot of things that I took away from because I'm still in, I go to drama school. Right. So watching these actors perform and things I'm like jot that down jot that down <laughs> that's so funny I'd be the same way and what would you say that you relate to Bobby the most in your real life and what's the least that you relate to Bobby in your real life the most I feel like Bobby is me inside my head and things I just can't say aloud when she's talk, she's watching the actresses audition and she's like, okay, thank you, next. Like, <laughs> that's something I would do in my head, but not in real life. Would you watch it each week with like, like when it comes out on HBO Max or do you, have you seen any of the episodes ahead of time? I haven't seen any of the episodes ahead of time. Um, I just watch it every week, like everyone else. With everybody else. And you are you when they how they edit the actual episodes, are you shocked? Are you kind of like because you just had a huge like Lexi's play went on? Did they keep or delete any scenes that you were like, oh my God, I wish they had kept that in? Or oh my gosh, I can't believe they actually put that in. The hero dance was amazing to see in person. It's not the same when it's on TV. I <laughs> just Watching it, I remember everyone on set was like, did you see the hero dance? It was so funny. And I hadn't seen it yet. And then when I did, it was honestly the best thing in the whole world. 
Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. How many takes did that take? So many. Um, I think it took two or three days. Two or three days to get it all locked in and down? Yeah, it was It was a lot going on. There were a lot of props involved, <laughs> a, lot, yeah. a lot of lights. Yeah, all that good stuff. And what would you say, what was your favorite scene to film with Lexi? For like the play scene, Bobby and Lexi, what was your favorite scene? My favorite scene was the the audition sequence from episode four. Um, there were some things that were cut, but it was fun because we got to improv and the actresses were amazing. And Sam would tell them to say these random lines. And it was just really funny. Yeah, I bet. And what was like, what, do you have any inside jokes with Lexi? Do you have any, like something that was funny, like that happened that you guys just will never forget that happened? Or was it just honestly the experience of being together? It was honestly just the experience of being there. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, okay, and we, okay, when we interviewed Chloe, we had asked her, because everybody was asking, they're like, what do they actually use for the actual drug part of things? And they, she told us that it was crushed up baby aspirin and all that stuff, but Oh, every everyone commented like well what do they do for like when they smoke do you know do you know what they smoke no because I was with um I did most of my scenes with Maud so gotcha. her character doesn't do anything. yeah her, her character wasn't doing anything <laughs> I got you know that we were just wanted to ask because everyone was like can you find that out for us and we're like we can try but we she doesn't have any scenes doing drugs so you know and what would you like to see? So, I mean, I guess kind of like spoiler, if not, if Bobby is in season three, what would you want to see her do? Or it's all the characters, what would you want to see happen? It was amazing to film season two. I don't know what season three would be like, but if Bobby was in season three, I don't know. I think she would be a total theater. She would take over the drama club. Yeah. She would get revenge against Oklahoma and make her own play dissing Oklahoma or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I bet. And how would you describe the season finale next week, Sunday, in three words? Um, crazy, shocking, amazing. <laughs> I mean, all the episodes so far, like Dana, you'll be here in just a second, but she, every time we'll text and she'll be like, this was insane. And that was every week after week after week. Do you text any of your friends? Like, are they texting you like, oh my God, like, I can't believe you actually did that or anything like that? Um, my friends for, from school are definitely going crazy about the show right now. Yeah. <laughs> do you, you don't spoil anything for them, do you? Because you can't. No. But it's definitely like, I can't believe you got to see that. And it's like, yeah, I was there. It was crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. And who who would you, if you could switch parts with any character for the day, their real life, like the real person and their character, who would you choose for each? So you could trade places with anyone from the cast in real life and in the show. Real life, like the, the actor and the character. Okay, so for the character, for the character, I think I would want to trade with Maddie. And for the, the actor, hmm, that's interesting. For the actor, probably Zendaya. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. <laughs> that would be a whirlwind of a life, I bet. That would be crazy. And were you a fan of the show before you joined the cast? I loved it so much. I watched the first season over and over again. Yeah. And I would have the constant excuse to watch with other people because they hadn't seen it yet. Right. So I would put my computer down and be like, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> that is so crazy that now you're in season two, possibly season three. That's insane. Okay. So now Dana's going to come on. Dana loves you. She'll say, hey, and we're going to play a game with you. Okay. It'll be fun. It'll be perfect. Hi, Hi Dana. What's up? Okay, so you guys ready for the game? You both are gonna play. Okay. It's would you rather? So there's two scenarios, and then you're gonna say which one you rather do. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay. So would you rather be 
well, you kind of answered, but Cassie or Maddie for both of you? Yeah, I would probably rather be Maddie. She definitely lives an interesting life. <laughs> Are you guys team Maddie or team Cassie? About no team. team. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would you rather act in Lexi's play or watch from the audience if you were a, like, if you were a fan of the show for you, Veronica? So if you were just watching and you're not in the show. Act in the play. I can't think of anything better than watching that play. <laughs> so I <would> definitely <laughs> want to watch it. You would be rude with all the facial expressions. I would just, that would be the moment. <laughs> Ronica, for the play set of how they filmed it, was everybody in the room where they filmed certain sections? So like, was like Rue, Jules, like everybody was sat in the place or it was a certain different days they were all recorded? It was different days. Yeah, nice. Okay. Yes we would have times where we're all in the room yeah that's pretty good um okay would you rather move into jacob's house or uh did the jacob's house or howard's house howard's house <laughs> they're both pretty toxic i'd be scared um howard's house yeah i would for sure move into the howard's house because i am definitely in the sue's hive <laughs> yeah literally you'd have the quite the mother that is crazy and i would quite the father you know i'm getting quick oh, yeah. sure. okay would you rather be friends with rue or jules in real life jules rather be friends with jules i feel like rue because she's just like a trip <laughs> <laughs> literally all her facial look i swear oh my gosh that is crazy did you how often veronica did you see like their scenes that the scenes that you weren't in were you on set those days or you only came in on like the days you had scenes I only came in on days where Bobby was seen yeah and I remember coming in and all the cast is there and I was just sitting there quiet like I better not say anything but then they all said hi and I almost cried you're like oh, hi oh my gosh I don't even know. Like, I wouldn't even know. Dana, do you know what you'd do if, like, they were all just sitting there? I would have cried, too. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, would you rather be enemies with Fez or be enemies with Nate? Fez would be, I don't know, probably Fez. I don't know. I don't want to get beat up. But also, I don't want, like, Nate to beat me up either. <laughs> Can I say neither? <laughs> we'll give you that option because it's either literally get brutally beat or get maybe pinned down with a gun. So, you know, what about you, Dana? Yeah, I would not want to be on Nate's bad side. <laughs> mm -mm, absolutely not. Um, and Veronica, did you for say you were a fan, like you're not in the show again, you don't know anything that happens. What do you think happens to Fez and Ashtray? As a fan, what would you, what would your theory be? And I wouldn't know anything because as a fan, I didn't see the finale yet. <laughs> good, 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 uh, good answer to that one. Hopefully they're still alive. Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, Dana, what about you? What do you think happens? I'm like afraid to think about what happens. I'm trying not to think about it. <laughs> We're interviewing Ashtray tomorrow, Veronica, Javon. So, uh. We'll be, we'll, we're going to try to find out all the tea, but we'll post it after the finale's out. So we could hopefully actually find out what happens. Out of it. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. And then just basic questions. Um, would you guys rather go out or stay in? What's the vibe? It's cold up here. I'm going to stay in. Yes. Yeah, stay in. <laughs> yeah. I'm probably going to stay in too. Yeah. <laughs> Watch Euphoria. Hey. There you go. Just rewatch it all the way over. Um, Instagram or TikTok? Instagram. Probably TikTok right now. Oh my gosh. Veronica, do you read all do you, you use TikTok though? I've been using it more frequently because my friends have been sending me different TikTok edits of Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on your own for you page? Um I've, yeah, I've seen a few things. 
<laughs> that would be so crazy. And all the, probably all the comments that like are about Bobby and like everything that happens with the character and Lexi's dynamic together. That is so crazy. TikTok loves Bobby. Loves. In Twitter, Dana, tell her about Twitter. Oh my God. <laughs> Twitter is obsessed with Bobby. Have you been seeing these tweets? I've seen one or two. I saw one that's been really popular from last week. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. But I'm also private, so no one's gonna know <laughs> my Twitter. You um are you glad that all everybody's like team Bobby? Not that they're supposed to be teams, but like people love you. Bobby Hive. I think it's so cool. Yeah, Bobby Hive. I think that's so crazy. And she's a very small character, so I did not expect that at all. But euphoria fan literally it doesn't i think even if you're in the show like if you're just in the show i swear and also okay was the picture it was tom holland at the play i don't know i didn't see him you you didn't see him no because everybody had did you see all the tiktoks and the tweets and everybody um saying like oh tom holland was there you haven't seen that side of tiktok yet I've had a few people at school ask me if I saw Tom Holland there, and I was like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I remember when I first saw Zendaya, I was really tired because we were filming, and then I heard her speak. And then we were all backstage while recording the play, and she came backstage. She was shaking hands with everyone extras and everything yeah and hi you're doing a good job and I don't remember what I said I think I blinked out <laughs> thank you thank you I think I don't really know I wouldn't even know if Zendaya looked me in the eye and like you're doing a good job I'd be like thank you <laughs> like what do I do with this information I don't know but you forever can hold that like you can you can literally know that Zendaya thinks you did a good job so there you go <laughs> oh my gosh that's crazy and what was your biggest takeaway you think from euphoria like what was your favorite part about filming the show my favorite part continues to be the hero dance it was amazing to see in person just the props and everything um but also getting to work with amazing actors yeah. getting to learn more things that I can take away from for sure Dana, any further questions for Veronica? I think she answered them all, and I'm just super excited for Sunday. Oh, my gosh. Do you have any watch party plans? Are you going to do anything? Do you have a ritual each week? I am. I'm going to watch with my friends. There you go. 